So we're here today talking with Sean, the owner of Omac, and this is on our, ser- our video series of how things work. So today, tell us what you're, we're, we're going to see. Today we're working with uh, electric brakes, brake drums, and bearings. All right, so electric brakes. Um, can you see a close-up of what this looks like here? Here's your electric brakes. Here's the magnet that works with your brake controller in your truck. Here's the shoes. This is the thickness of the shoes. This is what needs to be replaced as they go bad. And this is a new one, so this is what they should This is a like. brand new one, yeah. Okay. This is what they should like. And here's the uh, adjustment screw. So as the brakes wear down, you should be adjusted. Once a year, should be adjusted, depending on how often you use the trailer. So tell me how the magnet works with... So there must be a magnet on the trailer. Um, so this is the, the backing plates. And this is attached to your axle uh, by these four bolts in back, or six bolts, depending on what kind of stuff you have. Uh, the magnet is on the trailer. Uh, when you put your brake controller on, depending on the amperage, the magnet clings to the inside of the drum, right along here. And then, depending on your power of the drum, this magnet goes forward. Pushing the shoe this way, then in turn pushes that shoe that way. So this whole thing goes out. Yep. And that's what makes you stop. Yep. So when this goes out, that's why these wear thin. And that's right. why you need to check the thin. Ah. Yep. Okay. Okay. And then you were talking about this screw. Tell me a little bit more about that. This is the adjustment screw. So the first get your, your brakes and everything together. It should work fine. It should be pretty close together. And then as you wear the brakes down, we need to adjust the screw. So the screw's going to go this way, typically? Yeah, it'll, be open, it'll open up, so you got to go down to up. Oh, because as this is wearing down, this is getting thinner, this needs to open up. To, right. Oh, yeah, take yeah. Take up the slack. Okay. And if you don't adjust the screw, these brakes get too far out, and if they do grab, they get so far out of, out of them, they actually jam in the, in the hub. So then your brakes kind of lock up. And the brakes lock up, yeah. So that's why you'll, sometimes you'll get sliding tires and stuff if your, your brakes aren't... Uh, properly adjusted because the closer these are to your hub the better because the less movement it's got to make but if it's got to mo- make far movements then this is going to get jammed up farther so you got a bigger swing and you've got just more brake trouble when you, uh, when you get things working so when that happens and things go really bad does this whole thing need to be replaced and do you have to replace anything else if you let it go too long let it go too long uh, these brake pads of course in, in years of time they're glued on brake pads, so they'll have time they'll rust, especially with the Minnesota winters. Um, these will fall off, so they need to be replaced. So you can do shoes, depending on what the magnets look these like. These are called shoes? Yep, brake shoes, okay. brake magnets, springs, spring hold, or brake uh, spring holders, adjustment screw, adjustment spring. Um, uh, over time, this needs to be replaced. And if you replace this, um, the whole thing with the magnets, uh, you, you reuse your old drums, but the biggest thing is you have to have a flat surface in here for that magnet to run on. Because if you have going, figure you're going down any dirt roads or anything, and you get a rock or sand in there, and you get grooves, little mountain tops, all that magnet's going to do is hit the peak of the mountain, and you're not going to get proper braking. So if you ever replace, either replace these, or here at the shop we do mill them, we mill them flat again so that they're reusable, save you. Half the cost of your of your uh, of your drums. Replacement. Yeah, especially yeah. Uh, little ones aren't so much, but on the big 12k axles, when it costs 400 bucks for one drum, and we can do it for 50 bucks, it saves you a lot of money. So. Wow. So this is normally 400. No, this one here is about 40 bucks. 40 bucks. Yeah. What was the 400? Sorry. The big drums, big oh. 12k axles. Okay. And bigger, bigger stuff where they cost a lot more money to replace. These little ones are kind of throwaways, but we still reman them. Because if they're looking really good yet, you know, and they just need to be remanned, we still save you half the cost of them. So we're going to cut away and we're going to show everyone how you do that. Um, Okay. 